Hi, welcome to Painting with Victoria. I'm Victoria Goebel and in today's lesson we will be painting autumn pumpkins. Before we get started, we're going to take out the template that you got in your kit. You have two sizes. You have a small and a large one. And what I want you to do is place them where you want to put them. Now in my sample painting, I have them placed like this, but you don't have to do it that way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way on this class. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one down and start tracing the pumpkin. And make sure you press down nice and hard so that you really see that uh, lead coming through. Okay, so I have my pumpkins traced onto my canvas. And what I wanna do is get rid of this line in the front because I've decided to put this pumpkin in the front. So just take any eraser or the eraser on your pencil and get rid of that line. Great. Okay. And so what we're gonna work on first is we're gonna go ahead and do the background of our painting. So uh, take out all of your paints Put them on a ceramic plate. Make sure the plate is white because then your colors show up better. Take out your one half flat brush and this is the one that we're going to block in the colors around the pumpkins. You don't have to stay in the lines. You can get out of the lines so don't worry about that. We're going to start with yellow and what I'm going to do is just apply the yellow all around the pumpkins. Now as you can see as I'm painting, the lead shows right through because yellow is very, very transparent. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on. Kind of put it on a little bit thick so it stays wet for a while. And we'll just keep going all the way around our pumpkin. Now, we have a table that's right about here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to a different shade. So I'm gonna take some white, take my paintbrush and dip it right into the white. And this is where I'm really just going to eyeball this. You can measure if you want to, but I'm just gonna run a line right here and right here, and then paint in the rest. So it's kind of a pale yellow and that will be our table. Okay, let's go ahead and work with the top part while it's wet. So we're gonna go ahead and dip it right back into the yellow. You don't have to rinse out your brush. And let's take a little bit of brown and mix it. So we get a really nice caramel color. And so what I'm gonna do is just sort of block in on the corners and give it some nice shadow. More. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here in this corner. Don't think that you have to paint at the speed that I'm going. You can pause your computer anytime and take a break and rewind. Um, I paint at a different speed because I've been painting for a long time, but I want you to enjoy yourself. So just go at a speed that's comfortable for you. I'm going to go ahead and add some more yellow and blend those colors together. So I'm trying to get a really warm background. Just keep go back and forth, dipping it in the straight yellow. And now this part, we're just going to just keep blending and blending putting nice soft strokes into the painting. And I think I'd like to apply a little bit of orange. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the Cad Red Light and mix it into that mixture of yellow and brown to get a nice pumpkin orange color. And so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in a few places in the corners just to warm it up some more. over here in the side. Okay. And now I'm 
I'm just gonna slowly blend it into my pumpkin. I'm gonna dip it into the straight yellow. And really, this is, um, this doesn't have to look like my painting. I want you to enjoy this part. This is the fun part where there's no rules about your background. Just make sure that you make it as soft as possible. Keep blending all your colors. All right, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in some water to get rid of that orange. I'm gonna go back to the yellow and hit that and blend it into the colors that I just applied. Okay, I don't wanna lose that nice warm glow around my pumpkin. Okay, so I've got my background wall painted in, so now I'm gonna work on the floor. So let's go ahead and first give it a shadow. So I'm gonna take this brown, burnt umber, and mix it in. So let's start with the shadow underneath our pumpkins. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the brown and I'm gonna mix it in with that color that I made with the orange and the yellow. And just put it along the bottom of my pumpkins. And just kind of brush it downward. This, is, this way it looks like our pumpkins are not just floating in space, that they actually have a shadow underneath them. So we're gonna go ahead and Blend that in. And this is kind of already dry, so I'm gonna go and hit it with the same color that I originally put down, which was a little yellow and a little white, just to blend my shadow in. See how nice that softens it up? Okay. And let's go back to that really pretty warm pumpkin color that we made which was the cad red light and the yellow and the uh, burnt umber color. So I'm going to come across here where the table is and blend that down. And let's go ahead and do it to the other side. We'll come back later and um, hit that shadow again, but for now, this is a good place to let this dry. If it's a sunny day, it'll dry in about 10 minutes outside. If not, just take a blow dryer. Same thing, just hit it for about five minutes, and then we'll come back and do the details on the pumpkins. So if your background is nice and dry, what we're going to do is try to fix some of the areas that might have gotten covered up with the, the paint. And I just want to make sure that you can see all the lead. So if you have um, an area that needs to be redrawn, this would be the time that you would do it. And I think mine's pretty good. Um, just this one right here at the bottom looks like I could redraw it because uh, I can't really see the lead. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So this is where you're going to have to use a little bit of free hand, don't be afraid, but what we're going to do is draw the stem and all the grooves in the pumpkin. And so the best place to start is the stem. And what I like to do is come out like this and then just kind of do a little bit of like a fun little star shape like this, okay? And the same thing with this one. This does not have to be exact because there are no two pumpkins that are alike. So, here we go. We're gonna start with our grooves. And I like to say, see these, lot, these little points right here? That's a good place to start. So I'm gonna take my pencil and start with that point right there and glide it down, all the way down. And there's this little part right here that I'm just gonna bring it in here and that's where the pumpkin's going in there. And so we're just gonna continue with this, making all of our grooves in our pumpkin. Again, starting with the point. And, and so that should do it for that one. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Go ahead and put one 
in here. Yeah, you can do this all in fast motion anyway. Okay, so now that I have my pumpkin lines that are sketched, I'm going to outline them with paint. So we're gonna take our number six round paintbrush and dip it into Cad Red Light and Burnt Umber till we get a nice rust color. And I always like to add a little bit of water to this mixture um, only because your paintbrush will glide better. So here you have it. It kind of looks like a beautiful, beautiful, it's almost the color of my pumpkins here. It's a beautiful rust color. So start on the top and what we're going to do is just outline with paint all the way down to the bottom. Just the lines that you drew. Make sure you don't see any white showing. I hope you're having fun. This is supposed to be relaxing and I know I'm having a great time painting pumpkins today. These make a wonderful backdrop to your autumn decor. And again, this does not have to be perfect because pumpkins are definitely not perfect. Okay, almost done with this one. Okay, so rinse out your brush and let's go ahead to our larger round brush, which is a number eight. And let's make a nice, rich, deep orange color. And the way we do that is we take yellow with Cad Red Light. And Cad Red Light is very, very, very strong, so you only need a little. And now what we're going to do is block in all of the white part and blend it right into blend it right into the dark. You can even paint right over it if you want to. So continue putting the orange down. Like I said, don't worry about being super neat about this. As you can see, I'm going right over my dark areas. That's okay. All right. There we go. This is a good time to take it outside and let it dry a little bit so that when we go to lay the highlights, it doesn't take off the first layer of paint. Okay, my pumpkins are dry enough to touch, so let's get started with the stem. That's the fun part. So what I'm gonna do is block it in, and while it's drying, then I'm gonna work on the details of the pumpkin. So take out your medium green and mix it with a little of the burnt umber to create a nice olive green color. There we go. Now, Hey, oh, I forgot to tell you, take out your six number six round paintbrush. And the reason why we want to use this one is because it has a point at the very end of it. And we're going to use that when we do the scrolly part of our stem. So let's go ahead right now and just block it in. Try to stay in the lines at this point. There we go. This shouldn't take long. And now when I get to the top, um, even though your stencil 
or your template stops here. We're not going to stop there. We're going to keep going and make a really fun little swirl. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top and then just let my paintbrush do some fun little twirly thing like that. And one time should be enough. Don't overwork it because we're going to come back in and do some details. And the same thing goes with the second one. First block it in. Go. And let's go ahead and do our little curly top. There we go. And we'll stop there. So rinse out your brush. Okay, take out your one half flat brush and we're going to go ahead and work on all the beautiful highlights on the rind of our pumpkin. So let's take some of this cad red light and mix it with our yellow to make a much lighter color orange. And this is very important that there's contrast between this one and this one. Okay. So all I'm going to do is in the direction of what the rind is doing, I'm going to go ahead and just start stroking little lines like this with my paintbrush in that direction with that beautiful, it's kind of like a tangerine color. And feel free to go right over the dark part if you want. We're going to just do a lot of variations of strokes and colors to blend all that in because this is going behind. Stop right there. And we'll hit it here and here. Okay, do the same thing to your smaller pumpkin. Don't worry about going all the way to the bottom because the bottom would be shadowed and so we don't want that to be light putting our light strokes on the top part of our pumpkin. Okay. And I want it to be even lighter. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of white and mix it into that lovely tangerine color that you made. Okay. So now we're looking at more of a peach shade. And so we're going to just do the same thing but not as much. And we're just going to go and put some nice long strokes. As you can see, I've taken this flat brush, but I'm using the pointy part of it to do my striping, not the wide part. Okay. So we continue to just get that motion going on. Let's go ahead and do the second part. There we go. Now, we have a light source that we need to take care of. And so the light source, in my mind, is coming in this direction and hitting our pumpkins right here. So that's where we're going to have even more highlights is all in this area and this area. So let's go ahead and stick it in the white and more yellow. Really get a very bright, bright light color. And now what we're going to do is we're only going to, we're not going to hit it on this side of the pumpkin because this will be shaded. We're going to only concentrate on this part of the pumpkin. So I'm going to hit it right here on the side. This just creates our lovely, lovely highlights that we're looking for in our pumpkin. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down either. I'm kind of keeping it right in here. And just a little bit right here. This is where we have to stop. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to our second pumpkin. This is where you can kind of just speed it up um, right here. You don't need to see me do this again and again. Okay. 
Okay. Um, these back here would have a little bit of light, so I'm just going to lightly hit it with a little bit of paint of the light color. And not so much there. So, so far I can definitely see that the light is hitting and coming into this direction. So let's concentrate now on the lower parts. So rinse out your brush. And what we're going to do is make a rich, deep, dark color, which would be the cad red light and the burnt umber. So I'm going to stick those two together again. Very dark red rust color. Now you might want to use your finger for a little of the blending here. I like to, but all I'm doing is brushing in an upward motion like this, and then I just take my finger and blend it in. These are the shadows that are created from the bottom of the pumpkin as it rests on the table. It's very important that we have these shadows. This is what is going to give your painting lots of depth. There. And I'm going to go ahead and do the far side of the pumpkin where it isn't getting very much light, just to richen that up on this side. Again, use your fingers just to blend it in, it's just so much easier. Nice. And if you've lost some of your grooves, go ahead and hit that with that dark color just along the center. And really shaping up here. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to stop and we're going to go ahead and now work on, on our stems and bring out some highlights in that. So rinse out your brush. And take out that tiny little Two, number two round and let's go ahead we made an olive green and we made the olive green with burnt umber and the medium green so if it's still wet mine still is wet add a little bit of yellow to that to make it a just a more of a brighter green okay so what we're gonna do right now um, when I think of those stems, I think of them kind of twisted and everything, so my lines wouldn't be going straight. They would kind of be going off in almost like a candy cane motion. And I know this probably doesn't show up very much, but this is just the first layer. So now I'm going to add some white to that same color. Now it's becoming more of a sage green. And we're going to do the same thing again, just highlight it in a few places. There we go. And let's go ahead and do a little bit more white and just hit it where the light source is hitting it, which would be right about here and right about here. There, those stems are done. So now all that's left is we're just going to work on um, making the background look a little bit more rich by adding more colors. So take out your flat paintbrush again and let's see, let's just go with Burnt Umber. And let's go back under our pumpkins. You can even hit part of the pumpkin um, and rich in that, the bottom of the pumpkin as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it right there. Again, I'm just gonna take my finger and blend it in. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of green to that burnt umber color and do it again and 
this actually just makes it even darker. Just really want to make sure that that shadow shows. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to apply a little bit of green in here and a little green on this side just to add some more dimension. So I'm going to go back to my olive color that I made. I think there was a little bit of white in it, but that's okay. I think that would be pretty. I'm just going to add it over here on the side, go right off the canvas, and just blend that in with everything. I find that when you use your finger, it kind of makes the uh, design of the canvas lift out. That looks pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it right here. And blend with her finger again. I kind of like seeing the strokes too. So I am liking this. I think I want to just call it done. So the only thing left to do is sign your painting and find a beautiful place to put it in your home. Okay. I think I'll sign it with Cad Red Light so it shows. There we go. Well, thank you for joining me and painting pumpkins with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, please feel free to post your paintings on my Facebook page. I would love to show them off to everybody else. And don't forget to shop for more of my um, online classes and my kits you can purchase on my online store. Thank you and we'll see you soon.